eyes could not fail to reach mine ears. Before the fall, and I, Garm, shall the. <laughs> Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon drone! swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then. Ah, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know? I shall gladly reveal. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. Tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethren. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh.
a truly remarkable display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. I love. Alfred. Ah, face the charade. Love is not but an illusion. Goddess above, let my blade strike true. and broken, I consign you to the abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance. you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... 
Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here.
That was something else, huh? Oh, an Aerith song? I got a little misty-eyed there. Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. <sighs> okay then, that settles it. We've got to ride the Sky Wheel before it's too late, Cloud. Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Sky Wheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer at the Let's name the square, and I'll get you there. Let's make friends, people. And here we are. Couples may ride the sky wheel at this time. Grab your friend or partner and embark on a wondrous trip through the sights and sounds of the gold saucer. Watch the adventure unfold before your very eyes. Each moment are you ready to ride? The last. This dazzling journey. gonna drool on the seat. <laughs> Close call. doesn't leave the ride, okay? It might sound crazy, but back in Midgar, Aerith and I could both see the future. Well, that would explain a lot. I'm guessing you can't anymore, though? Nope. Not even a bit. Whatever we had, I think the Whispers took it from us when we left. Huh. It seems Arbiters of Fate can do whatever they want. So you told us. if this means we'll eventually forget they even exist. We'd be better off if we did, frankly. There's no point in wasting our time worrying about fate if we can't change it. You're right. Still, there is one thing I need you to remember. You have to keep Aerith safe. Hmm. I mean it, Cloud. I don't remember what's supposed to happen, but I do know she's in danger. that we could speak in private, Cloud. Yeah. You're good company. Thanks.
disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously. Wow, find of the century. You never know. That intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancient's headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we let her go. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. All right, let's bring this one home. Champions? <laughs> Excellent. Best of luck to you in the arena. Oh, I'm gonna 
underestimate it. Time to stretch your stuff, baby. And I want to play it. And Suzo, she is champion for you. The stadium is borrowed, and the world gets black and blue.
We won! Of course we do. To ensure a fair and entertaining bout, we'll give you a chance to rest before the festivities. Once you're ready, you need but say the word. Duke it out. Fantastic. Then without further ado. Well, oh, what a nice team! Oh, 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 oh,
got it. Be safe. We do. How it looks? What was I thinking? Trusting you. The company man with a heart of gold. Huh. What a joke. Barrett, no! Please! Screw it. Piece of shit ain't worth the bullets anyway. I don't understand. Why? Cuz he's an asshole! One we should have never trusted in the first place. Don't. He deserves it. Not you too. <laughs> Knew from the start that had to end this way, but it still stings. For a moment there, it felt like we were friends. Probably laughing at us from his new office. How are you not mad? He played us for fools from the start. <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me want to beat the crap out of him. Hey, are you okay? I'll be fine. Just thought I was a better judge of character. Forget him. So what's the plan then? We are not just going to let him take the black materia, right? We're going to go after him, right? And how are we supposed to do that without any leads? He's got a point. The only one who knows where the temple is is Kate Seth. <sighs> but he told the Turks, whose chopper I should be able to track. Really? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on comms, I'll find them. Well now, the old gal's got a transmitter. Ha. Then we're in business. All right, I'll run on ahead and get her warmed up for you. Later. It's settled then. We follow Shinra to the temple. And the black materia will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> 